HTML tag. It's the tag that wraps around all of the other content on the page. So let's start with that first part we see. We see this doc type HTML. So the browser needs to know what file it's about to be fed. That is commented out. As you can see, it's a little bit grayed out too. All that that does is say the following will be HTML. So that doc type could be CSS, could be JS. It's ultimately not that important. That's up for debate. But while you're getting started, and especially while Glitch is just auto-populating this for you when you do create a new project, just know that it's there and know that you might need to include it if you're being quizzed on something or if we find out that it has some other purpose. It's good to just know every piece that's happening. And that is the first piece of your HTML document. It's just a marker that says this, the following is HTML. After that, we have the actual HTML tag itself, which has an opening and a closing tag. Now, everything else goes inside of it. So when you type out that first HTML and end it with a caret, give yourself a bunch of spaces because the whole extent of your document, including more boiler tag plates, uh, more boilerplate tags, uh, and the rest of your hierarchy of HTML elements is going to come out, going to come after that, and technically be a child or a descendant of this HTML. So that's your topmost layer, and it does take an attribute of lang, which means language, and it just lets the browser know that the HTML and the content therein is in English, which is important for screen readers and accessibility. Um, reading over the notes I have here. I'm just illustrating that the doc type goes at the top of your document and that the HTML tag is the starting point and that it has this optional attribute. But the important thing to know is that HTML is the topmost layer and all other elements come after it.